Hey, kiddo. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? Can you tell me what happened tonight? I... I went to show her my haircut. She had a gun. She... Take your time. She freaked out. I... I... It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried to kill me, so... So I stabbed her. I killed my mother. Alright, I think I'm ready to go now. I need to bring this with me to Juno. I need to bring this with me to Juno. Oh, I should probably get rid of this. 
I mean, I can stream it anytime I want, but it makes me happy just to look at the box. I've got to make solid plans to see the Geminids. I wonder if Tyler'd want to go. Hey, you want to freeze your ass off watching burning rocks fall through the sky? Yeah, I might need to work on my sales pitch. I think I'm ready to go now. I should probably check my email one more time before I go. No, I've already done that three times this morning. Michael and Tyler are so gonna hit it off. It's gonna be so crazy to see him after all these years. Why do I still have this? Every time I look at it, it reminds me of how very single I am. season. What am I even going to do with myself when it's over? Get invested in the lives of real people? Oh, ooh, I can't wait to force Tyler to watch this with me. He's totally going to hate it. Time to dig through this right now. I don't really have time to dig through this right now. Probably not going to see any stars at this time of day. I could look at this artwork all day. prettiest of my creations, but she weirdly kind of looks like me in the morning. Pfft. I've been practiced since high school. I'm probably super rusty.
can't believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. I just need to grab my goblin, and I'm off. <sighs> Bummed I have to leave this behind, but the old house would probably collapse if I blasted this inside. Been listening to this on a loop lately. Man, a soundtrack to my angsty teen years. I'll leave it for the next rebel. They're gonna need it more than I do. Hmm. Is there any way I can... Nah, that's someone else's problem now. Man, he's going places. And I'll be able to say I helped him on his way. that view. I know most of these by heart at this point. I wish I could have finished this before I left, but God, it was a slog. Hey, little guy. You're gonna be reunited with your sister soon. Cool. I guess I'm totally ready to go now. Bye, Herbert. Bye, Herbert. Denali. I need to get my application ready for next summer. Oh, gonna miss these dum dums. Hi, Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in ten years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry, I... It's fine, Allison. 
Kai's a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. <sighs> Likewise. You have anything else you need to get? Nope. This is it. My last ten years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place? Honestly, people. The other residents, my mentees, my counselor, Aaron. It took me a while to fit in, but once I did, it felt like home. They made me feel safe. Safe enough to be me. That's so great. I'm really happy for you. We planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? You are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. Need one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. percent not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. And there was the bear, fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. I can't believe you've got a bachelor's already. While I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. What about you? Allison? Well, zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. Guess that normal life you wanted didn't live up to your expectations, huh? I 
I mean, having cable and full-time electricity was definitely a plus, but no one ever forgets anything in a small town. You get marked a weirdo, and that's it. That's your life. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. Is that smoke coming out of Stonehouse? That one over there? No, the one just beyond it. You know, the one the elders say is haunted to spook little kids. Oh, right. Oh, a whole group of us were drinking at a bonfire down at the point and got dared to go inside. We didn't make it past the garden. <laughs> Sounds fun. Uh, it was. So... Really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? I mean, we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out, people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> At least it's got one hell of a view. Unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. Are you still thinking you might be my roomie? Thinking about it. Hey. Can I ask you a question? Shoot. I was told... Um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Well, uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. Allison? Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? It's a gift. From Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry, when you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty, don't- And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering, and you're the two most important people in my life. Please, for me. He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really. Just so we're clear, this was for you, not Chief Brown. You know, you could call him Eddie, or even Uncle. <laughs> Hard pass. Did you hear that? Whoa! There's no place like home. 
Yeah. Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, it's me. Yep, we didn't die in a fiery crash. How are you? It's so weird being back on this boat. You blend an Atlanta moose with that? Good eye. I'm drawing a bull tag on this way. You got your license and tag on you? <laughs> Why, yes, officer. Everything's in order. You hunt? I fish, mostly. No shame in that. Anyway, you'll find there's lots of good fishing spots right here. You know what to look for. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing? Same here. You from around here? Just in town for a few days. I see. Any relatives in the area? My sister. And she's moving soon. This a goodbye trip, then? <laughs> Something like that. I'm Alex, by the way. Alex Gershwin. No relation. Huh? To George Gershwin. Um... Gershwin, the pianist. Folks are always asking for related, so I try to hit it off the pass. Oh. Uh, what'd you say your name was? Just call me Tyler. All right. Good to meet you, Tyler. Likewise, sir. Hey, Allison, can we take the scenic route instead of the highway? Allison? Don't think she can hear you. <laughs> Guess not. Send out winter formal? Fancy. Wait, wasn't that Allison's high school?
I'll see you around town. Let's go. Basically, exactly like I remember it. Only faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. After you. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Let's- I can't believe these are still here. Yeah, we should hide them so they don't frighten away potential buyers. Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? And she always knew when we were lying. Waste not, or kiss the planet goodbye. What'd you find? Our hidden treasure. Seriously? How do we think to stash it there? Goblin secrets are always well kept.
I bet we left all kinds of cool things in there. No, you're right. You really want to go out there? No, you're right. Hey, you remember that? Come on, Tyler. It's freezing out here. You're right. Sorry. Let's head inside. Doesn't seem like the greenest source of energy. Not like she had the money for solar panels. For you. Uh, did you smoke something before you left Fireweed? The door's right there. Locked. Well, it's a good thing I remembered this. You sure that's the right key? Yes. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. We're screwed. You got a plan B? Yeah. We find another way in. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah. We had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's gotta work. Crafty goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Or should I say, us. We almost spent more time as goblins than we did as kids. Oh, do you remember all the other characters? The moon hag, the ice king, the old bear? Most of them, I think. But the details are fuzzy. Hey, do you know what happened to the book with all the stories? No, no idea. But I'm sure it'll turn up when we clean this place out. Open sesame. Let me guess. It's locked. Yup. Know any other secret passwords? Hmm. Honeydew? Nope. It's no good. I can't open this one either. It's okay. We'll find another way in. At least we don't have any use for this right now. Luckily. Remember the snowstorm in 2004? Marianne had us digging for hours.
I remember she made it a game, at least. That's right. We made tunnels to escape the ice troll. We gotta hand it to her. She can make us do anything if she turned it into a goblin tail. So, any idea how we're gonna get in? Hmm. We used to play under the house when we were kids. Yeah, we stashed all our goblin treasure down there. There was a hatch, right? That opened up into the laundry room? There was. I hope I can still fit. I'm a little taller than I was at 11. It's locked, all right. What was she doing out here that night? Come on, man. She did not like us using her tools. Well, at least the tools are- Homemade cleaning products may be better for the planet, but they do not have the same shelf life. Oh, add it. Well, at least the tools are still here. That'll help with the repairs. They're good quality, too. Marianne wanted stuff like that to last. I can't believe these are still here. Yeah, we should hide them so they don't frighten away potential buyers. Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? And she always knew when we were lying. Waste not, or kiss the planet goodbye. Do you need a hand with that? Mm, no, it should be fine. Okay. If we just get this board out of the way, I could probably squeeze through. So we need something to pry it off. It's screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. I think I saw one back in the shed. Let's go check. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Let's deal with that later. Plenty else to do first. It's locked, all right. Okay. Should be something in here that'll work. I guess Marianne left us something useful, huh? Yeah. We still have to find a way to get inside, though. And please, no broken windows. We'll see ya. What's happening? Do you feel that? as clean as a whistle. Ugh. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Whoa, did that just happen? I don't know, but I saw it too. It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did, but that was a memory of us 10 years ago, right? I, I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why would it happen? And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. It's weird, but our voice was always a good thing. This could be too.
I'm feeling something again. Near the barn. Yeah, me too. Coming. I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. Guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. What? No, I want to see. I guess we know where to search now. We just have to remember which one is the silent frog. Nothing so, here. which one of you is hiding the key? Hmm? Nothing here. Damn, where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Nice job keeping the secret, buddy. Got it. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? Huh. Who left this box here? It looks brand new. It wasn't me. Has someone been out here recently? Guess it's your lucky day, bird friends. Are you sure you want to go in there? This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? Everything okay down there? Tyler? Ah! Oh, that's not funny! <laughs> then why am I laughing? Okay, fine. But you're still an idiot. All right. I'm going in for real this time. Okay. I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. suppose you remember how to get to the hatch. I, I think so. We'll figure it out together. Dragons, straight ahead. Need to go left, I think. You were right. Nothing here. Of course I was. I 
would have taken gold. Not even in your dreams. Again, after the goblins. Wow. Can't say I ever expected to see you again. It's been a long time, buddy. on the right. My bad. Past the treasure. Straight, Straight ahead. ahead. You know, I almost convinced myself. You were right, sis. Of course. A goblin never forgets where she stashed her treasure. No. Pink. It always had to be pink. Marianne grilled us about all these missing dishes, but a goblin never gives up their treasure. I found her old kite. <laughs> I think its wings have been clipped, though. Rest in peace, brave bird. Coming. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah, same here. So, coming in or what? Just working up to it. Well, we're here. Here we are. So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us.
All right, let's see. Broken shelf, broken jar, and the washing machine, broken. <laughs> the dryer never worked to begin with. Maybe I thought dryers were straight up evil. Energy hogs. I hated hanging drippy laundry. I refused to change for a few weeks once, so I wouldn't have to do it. We should take down the creepy masks if we don't want to scare the buyers away. Oh, so now you don't want to scare someone with those masks. Are these authentic, Clinkett? I doubt it. I'm surprised Marianne would buy fakes. 20 years ago, everyone was buying fakes. Huh. This bathroom still smells like Marianne. A good scrub and we'll be rid of that too. I tried to bury this dress in the backyard, but Marianne caught me. It was a pretty dress. Yeah, well, we both know pretty was never my thing. We were so competitive about who measured taller. Like, we actually had anything to do with it. And after all that, it ended in a tie. Yeah. None of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. What are we going to do with all her jewelry? Well, I'm certainly not going to wear it. Donation pile it is, then. Wow. I forgot all about her weird concoctions. And how she was always testing them on us. Like we were lab rats. Handmade soap. Still here after 10 years. Impressive. You could say that about the entire house. Agreed. Huh. What was she hoping to do with all these jars? She used to barter for our clothes with homemade jam. She tried everything to make ends meet. Well, not everything. String, glue, duct tape. The holy trinity of house repair. Marianne loved having something to fix. But not the part where it got broken. Especially if we were the ones responsible. I know. I'm just saying she liked to save broken things. Best mom. You think we ever really believed that, or were we just trying to make her happy? Either way, it wasn't true. Guess we never had time to complete the collection. These came out of one of the prize machines at the Vecchi store, right? Yeah, you'd slide the quarters inside on the little tray, and then magic, out pops a sticker.
Mom? About me joining the hockey team? Mom! Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Maybe next year. But you promised! Keep whining, and my next year will become never. Can you cut my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short. Really short. What? Look, I'm tired. And I'm busy. Let's talk about this later. You always say that. Marianne said no to everything. It made me so pissed. She was always on edge those last few months. Yeah, and completely deaf to everything I was telling her I needed. She pretty much always said no to me, too. True, but it felt personal with me. What are you reading? A letter we wrote her. To apologize for breaking that stupid face, remember? Bore your kids into good behavior. Great parenting strategy. She pinched every penny. She pinched every penny. Old textbooks. Tessa gave them to us, right? Yeah, she thought we were gifted. What about you? Do you think you're gifted? I wouldn't be here if I was. What? Like, in this house, with me? I mean anywhere near here. I'd be working in Juno or Seattle or something. Uh -huh. I don't remember these. It's probably one of Marianne's unfinished masterpieces. There's two of them. Maybe they were us in some weird way that only made sense to Marianne. Wow. I'm so embarrassed for us. Many Da Vinci's we were not. She saved every drawing we ever did. There's a couple of these at my keep. She took so many pictures. Yeah. Like she had to document every second of our lives. She kind of had an eye, I guess. But it was annoying. Uncle Eddie could never understand why I hated getting my picture taken. Yeah, same for me. All my photos at Fireweed, I've got my hands over my face like it's a perp walk. She was trying to save the planet way before Al Gore made it cool. Has Al Gore ever made anything cool? Nah. I guess she was right about one thing. But you can't really blame anyone for not listening to crazy Marianne Ronan. I didn't realize how much I missed the smell of firewood. of hot cocoa. Yeah. Marianne was so tired she was usually asleep on the couch. Ah, that's why it was so nice. No Marianne. That was the one time we were ever quiet. We knew she needed to sleep. We all needed her to sleep.
Where'd you come from?